Hello, it's Friday, which means another newsletter from Andrew Taylor. Let's take a quick look. It's not there yet, but this is where it will be. It's in the newsletter category on andrewstaylor.com. I'll put the link in the chat, in the description. This isn't a Teams meeting. I'll put a link in the description below for uh, for that new newsletter as it comes out. Also, just sign up to the newsletter. You know, it's nice and simple to do. Head to the bottom of this, uh, the middle of this website, and just tap in your email address. Do the capture to prove you're not a robot, and then click Let's Keep in Touch. He promises he won't he won't spam. Just receive that newsletter every week. It's brilliant. So one of the articles that he's covering in this newsletter this week is this post from Peter from In the Cloud 24/7, and this is around Microsoft Intune organizational messages. This is for me would have been game changing in the past when I've been trying to do to reach out to users and tell them things that are going on or give them some support when they're trying to do things without having to do some scripts. This could be game changing for you. I'm going to take a quick look. It's really well covered in Peter's blog, but I want to take a quick look myself and cover it in this video. So let's jump in. So do take the time to read through this blog and also through the rest of Andrew's newsletter. But for now, I want to jump into some prerequisites, which you get to from this learn article here. Again, I'll put that in the description below. So this is public preview. You need Windows 22 H2. You also need a, a ton of licensing, actually. This needs Microsoft 365 E3 or EMS E3 plus Windows Enterprise E3, which is quite a beefy prerequisite, to be honest, for, for an organizational messages feature. But there you go. You need that. So we also need some permissions. You need Intune Admin or Global Admin or Organizational Messages Manager, which is an Intune role, um, or Organizational Messages Writer, which is an Azure AD role. I'm going to have Global Admin, but you know, go through that as you need to. The logo requirement when we're going through this will be that it needs to be a PNG file, must have a transparent background. The uh, size of it are specified there, 64 by 64 for the taskbar, 48 by 48 for the for the notification area messages, and uh, getting started app messages are 50 pixels long and 100 pixels wide. That's very specific, but I'm glad they've pointed that out because that, that's not square. So we also need a custom domain if you're going to be putting in your uh, URL. And also policy requirements, we have some stuff that we need to configure first before this will work, right? So we've got something in the settings catalog that where we need to enable delivery of organizational messages, which is a user policy. So I thought we'd start there. So let's go into the admin center, Intune portal. I, I don't know what to call it anymore. I'm going to just call it whatever comes to my mind first. We're going to go with devices and then down into uh, configuration profiles, create a new one because that's nice, isn't it? We'll call it org messages, which is a settings catalog. Just create that. Call it org messages. And let's add a setting. And it was, I think it was org organization, something. Might have been a bit ambitious there, remembering what exactly it was called. Um, settings catalog experience enable delivery of organizational messages. Experience enable delivery of organizational messages. Perfect. Okay, nice and simple to do that. We will tick it to make sure it's set to enabled. Choose next and next. I'm going to go with all devices because I'm lazy, but obviously choose the pilot devices that you're using for your organization when you're doing this. Next, create, finish, whatever, we're all good to go. Okay, so that's that done. Next, that isn't the only prereq, right? We've got some other things to do to get this working. For example, we configure this in the tenant administration section. So we go to tenant admin and down to org messages just here. And here we need to uh, make sure we've got the prereqs, which are um, enable org messages policy, which is done and decide whether you want to block messages directly from Microsoft while allowing admins display. So this allow means that we will allow messages from Microsoft as well. Uh, that might be okay in your organization. Take a look at this 
this link here to understand a bit more what, about what that means. For now, we've got the pixel sizes there, the logo sizes in pixels that we need to conform to for this. I'll have an image ready when it comes to it. So we've got three options here. We can deploy a taskbar message, which appears just above the taskbar, and the message repeats with a frequency that you set until the user acts on it, which is interesting. We've got notification area messages, which are the things that appear in the bubble. Again, will pop up until they do something about it. And then the getting started app messages. All three of these sound really intriguing. So we're going to go with taskbar message first. And here we need, you can see what it's going to do. It's going to pop up somewhere in the middle of the taskbar there, which is, which is good to see. Good example of it. And we need to allow Windows Spotlight, allow Windows Tips, and allow org messages in the policies. So let's go ahead and do that. Allow Windows Spotlight. Create a new tab just to get this done without moving out of that window. Down to config. I'm going to use the same org messages policy just because I am lazy, but it is nice to split things out when you can. So down to configurations. I'm going to go with those. And did that add them? It did. Ooh, that's a lot. That got enabled by default there. Uh, good. Okay. And the other one was allow Windows tips. Add search. Allow Windows tips. Perfect. Okay, good. So that's on. Set to on. Uh, soft landing. I have no idea what that means. It sounds really good. Save, save, and we're good to go. Okay. Next, we have no clear way as to how to actually set this up. Um, oh, look, I found it right there. Okay, so we have um, another tab, a kind of weird hidden tab that has, as Microsoft do with these windows. So we're going to go with create. And the message type will be taskbar, because that's the one I was just looking at just then. It's going to be a mandatory update. What does that mean? The theme is mandatory update. Okay, well, I guess that's quite specific, but that's what we're working with now. Yep, just grab my logo. Perfect. So, domain name, go with this one. Language will be English. And that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That looks exactly like I would hope. So first day to show the message, you need to create this at least, you need to finish creating the message at least one day before the date you set. So that's, in this case, it's going to be tomorrow for me. And the last day must be at least seven days after this date. Quite specific, let's go with that. And the frequency will be once a week. That's going to be once then. Okay, next. And we will add a group of users to receive this. And that's going to be finance, marketing. And let's create. Go ahead and refresh that. The refresh button doesn't seem to do much of a good job at refreshing. I'm going to jump out and then back in which is the other way you refresh things in Microsoft World. There he is. Okay, so that is now done. And obviously I can't show you it working because I've just set it to deliver the first message tomorrow. So perhaps tomorrow I'll record a video of the user experience side. For now, sign up to Andrew Taylor's newsletter. Subscribe to this channel if you like. That would be lovely. See you next time.